I am leading the uh, laboratory team that has been identified and volunteered to analyze uh, COVID-19 samples from suspect patients. And of course, this includes uh, training and competencies in various uh, laboratory procedures. Uh, but also, another important role is the biosafety aspect. Uh, I am actually uh, responsible for training labs, training the lab labs in various uh, bi biosafety uh, procedures, uh, especially in the uh, use of protective equipment. Also, there was a request from the Ministry of Health to MRCG to support uh, build capacities for uh, COVID testing in the national, at the National Public Health Laboratories. So I was dele delegated with Dr. Abdul Sise to lead that process. And this process involves training of, of their staff. I'm happy to say that three of their staff have been trained already, and we are expecting to have four more starting from, from tomorrow. The other aspect, of course, is to say, uh, to highlight the importance work that the, uh, the lab team is doing. These are the invisible heroes, because most of the time what the public see is the, is the doctor, the nurse, or the social worker. But there is a group of individuals at the background who are doing excellent work. Uh, these are the group of people who can tell you who has COVID and who doesn't have COVID. Uh, to myself and to the general public, of course, it is important that we uh, put all efforts to make sure that the mode of transmission is broken if we want to uh, defeat COVID-19. It is uh, everybody's business to make sure that we follow the recommendations. Of course, it is important that we realize that COVID-19 is here and it kills and it transcends all borders. The earlier that we accept this fact that COVID-19 is here, then uh, I think that is uh, going to be beneficial to everybody and we'll be able to save lives.